the third week, you're actually our, uh, my biggest guest. My biggest in, in many ways. You're, oh, cool. you're very. You. <laughs> um, you're uh, six five. Is that what you are? Six four. Yeah. Yeah. Six, six five with boots. Yeah. That's what I meant. The yeah. boots. Um, because I'm usually good at that right away. Six five, <laughs> six four. So, and, and were you were you born? You're you're a big guy. Yeah, I was. Not um, were you born this size? I know that. But I was. Yeah. yeah. Right out of the womb. Yeah. Ow. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd always been a big kid. When I was eight, I was probably about 140 pounds or so. I was a big guy. And then, by, and then by the time I was 15, I was like six four, two ten. Woo! Yeah, like four, <laughs> two ten, two twenty. And the the problem was we traveled a lot with my family. So I went to about three or four different high schools when I was in high school. And when I was 15, I hit this one high school, and it was down in the south, down in, in Nashville. And everybody thought I was an undercover cop. <laughs> Believe it or not, I swear to you. And then, like, with the guys... It's were you wearing a, it's, suits to school, or...? Yeah, I was. I had a big badge, yeah. like, right there. Because um, you were so big, they thought you were too old they, to they be... A... Thought, yeah, there was, like, well, you know, I came in. I didn't look like anybody else. I kind of looked different, like, oh, look at him. And for guys, it's cool, because guys are like, yo, you an undercover cop? I'm like, yeah, man. But <laughs> for the girls, like, when it's time to talk to girls, they'd be like, so, you know, can I take you to dinner? And they're like, not with you. And, like, walk away. Like, oh, great, okay. You're sorry Thanks. now. Yeah. Yeah, damn it. Did, did you use, but if you were that big, did you play football or anything like that? Or I what? did. I played down at uh, University of Miami, and we played down there and uh, won a national title in 91. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they're good, great. They're doing great. They're, they're kicking a lot of booty. And um, yeah, played football. Is that what you wanted to do? You were going to be a football player? Um, well, coming from that school and, and uh, you know, a program like that that's such high profile. You think about two things. You think about graduating and then you think about becoming a pro football player. Mm -hmm. I wanted to play pro and I also wanted to work for the Secret Service. And that's what I got my degree in was criminology. But the funny story was by the end of my junior year, I finally had the bright idea of asking the professor, well, how, how much am I going to get paid? And he told me and I was like, oh my God. And, um, you know, here's the thing. I mean, the Secret Service, they are true heroes. They protect our, our leaders. But I looked at him. I'm like, you know, there's, that's, that's not take a bullet pay for no. me. I just I can't. I can't. I can't do it. So by that time, I was already too late, so I wound up graduating with a degree in criminology. In criminology? Mm -hmm. Really? And what is, is that like uh, Quincy Jones? What's that mean? Yeah, yeah. A little, little iron side. Yeah? Yeah, mixed in there, sure. You have, I saw this picture we're in, in GQ magazine. Yeah. There's a picture of, of your tattoo, which is right. quite, have you seen, it's, it's, <laughs> I think we should all see it. I, it okay. Okay. I want you to That's This, this takes a long, long time to do this, and it means something, too. It's not just a tattoo. It actually has meaning. Sure. It, right. it does. It, um, okay, hold <laughs> on. Um, we'll get to it. It, uh, it took 35 hours. It took two days. Um, and um, for me, it's... 35 um, hours, 30 two days. I want you to hear so that. So basically two days straight we stayed up getting it done. And, um, yeah, and it's, it's Polynesian. Uh, it's a Polynesian tattoo, Samoan tattoo, and it's a story of my life and everything that's important to me. I will show you right now. All right. this at home, there's like, da 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 <laughs> Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Your so. arm is the size of this chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Um, well, for example, um, this, well, okay, where do we start? This is, these are the, uh, these are the stones and they're the foundation of my life, my tattoo, which represent um, they represent my strength, and they're here, they're here. This is, there is, if you could get a shot of this, this is my wife, this is my baby, and there's me, my big head. <laughs> and this part is the epicenter of the tattoo. It's where I derive my strength from. And this is strength, and these are the 
two eyes of my ancestors watching over me. These shark teeth for me are very important, which represent my fighting spirit. And, um, and this is my spiritual guide. This is also my loyalty. And right here is where I say I love Ellen DeGeneres. I was just going to say. <laughs> You look fantastic. You too. I like the corduroy. Thank Looking you so much. You, are you exhausted? You just got back from, like, when did you come back from Europe? I did, uh, about three days ago. We flew back from, um, from London, and it was great. It was a great tour, and you know, everybody was excited, and we were excited, too. Bought the whole cast, Jumanji cast, and it was good. Now, when you go to Europe, I, I saw that when you travel, you bring your gym with you. Do you, like, where, where's the limit where you don't bring the gym? Well, for context, any place that I shoot, I usually, like, just in terms of locations that I go to, mm -hmm. then I'll bring the gym with me. Mm -hmm. But for this tour, I didn't bring the right. gym, because it's only, like, a couple of days. Right. But if I'm, if I'm in a location, whether it's Europe or Hawaii or wherever it is, I bring the gym for... Because you don't think that months. they have the same equipment there? Do you, do, do you have something different? No, seriously, <laughs> do you have something no. different that they don't have? Well, I, gyms have basically the, the same equipment, especially at the kind of gyms that I train at. The only issue is... Uh, it, it's just extremely hard for me to get a workout in in a public gym, right? Um, because it's a lot of people, and you know the um, the etiquette gets thrown out the window, and I just I can't right. get a workout in. <laughs> yes, <I'll... laughs> wow, yes, that's a good one to put up. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry... <laughs> Kevin Hart took that. Yeah. What? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, man, he's really been working out lately. He, he has been, I'm yeah. so happy to see that he's okay again. That it's he's, so good to have him yeah, back. Yeah, that was a scary yes. thing, that car accident. It was a scary thing with a car accident. It's so good to have him back. You know, we went on tour together, and we were traveling around the world, and I was with him all day, every day, throughout the nights, too, as well. <laughs> yes. It, I mean, it's just like looking in the mirror. You know, twins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is so good to have him back because he's yeah. such a good guy and, and uh, couldn't have been a wonderful, better Christmas gift than to have him back. Yeah, and, uh, and yes. Um, <laughs> you had a beautiful wedding, and look at this picture. This picture Thank was you. taken at 7.45 in the morning, is that right? Yes, we had, a, <laughs> we had an early morning uh, uh, wedding in Hawaii, on the cliffs there in, in Kauai, and it was very private, um, and it was the best. Why, it truly was Why 7.45? So if you, let's back that up for her <laughs> hair and makeup. So her <laughs> hair and makeup had to start at like five or something. It started very early. Why would you st have a wedding at 7.45 in the morning? Well, I mean, I had to work out. I had like the eight o'clock workout. Uh, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Kind of. Kind of. No, no, no. Uh, kinda. no, no, no. I'm only kidding. Um, we wanted to have an early morning uh, wedding. That way we, we said the vows, get it over with. And then by 10, 11 o'clock, we're hanging, we're having brunch with the family, and we had it done. Wow. And plus in Hawaii at that time, it's a beautiful time with us and uh, our, my ancestors watching over us. I mean, it was tr truly a magical, magical Well, that's way. great. And you have a new baby. We do, yeah. yes. How old is she now? Yes. Uh, she is going to be two coming up, yes. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. You're such yeah, a she, good daddy. Thank you. She is, she, I have all daughters, uh, ranging from a daughter who's going to be two um, to Jazzy, who's going to be four. There they are right there. They were our flower girls on our wedding, and they were just so magical. And what do they want for Christmas? Uh, every toy that they see. Mm -hmm. Every toy that they see. So, of course, with Lauren, uh, my wife, Jazzy says, can I have that? And, of course, she says, well, let's make the list. And if you're good, you have a birthday coming up, and you have Christmas coming up, and... Of course, when she asked me, Daddy, can I have that? Absolutely. You want the, yes, yes, absolutely. When would you like it? Got it. T tomorrow. Before Christmas, it. yeah. <laughs> Spoil them rotten. Ah, uh, well, and they deserve it. That's really cute.